with Connor Nally, Silas Walston, Tate Rowe, and Isaac Dukes after Bedford falls to Bishop Garrigan in the state championship game. Uh, Connor, we'll start with you. I know this is you know, never the way you want it to end, but man, what a ride. Tell me about the emotions right now. You know, there's nothing to hang our head on. I think last year was the first year, and since 2016 we made the playoffs, and this year everyone got in the weight room and did their thing, and it's the reason we got here. Everyone just kept going, and... Yeah, it was a hell of a season. I'm just glad that we came out there, played our played our best all game long. I know Tate's been waiting for this interview. He really deserves it. All season long, that O-line has been just pounding for us. They were pounding tonight. It just wasn't quite enough for us. The other team was good. Yeah, you know, we've been trying. Uh, weight room definitely helped everybody. Just trying hard, working their butt off in practice. Scout team giving us good looks and everything. And that's why we're here. And yeah, nothing to hang our heads on, definitely. You know, we saw some pretty good sparks last year with what team we have and what our, you know, what we can do in the future. And like they've been saying, we've been hitting the weight room real good this summer and during football season. And I say that that definitely helped us. Isaac, you had you know the matchup with with Logan Nemers, who's obviously really good. Um, talk about that and and kind of what went into today. Um, you know, he's big, um, he's strong, so I tried to you know not just get head up on him. I tried to hit some gaps, maybe kill him with my speed. But, you know, at the end of the day, he's a really good center. And I'd say, I'd say I'm not too disappointed in my, you know, performance today. But, you know, he's just a really good center. Tate, I mean, the ground game had success. Like, I mean, there's no doubt about that. And you are obviously a big part of it. Speak to what kind of went into today. Yeah, you know, uh, first I'd like to give a shout out to my guards, Gavin Neely and Miles White. They do a hell of a job getting on their blocks, holding the blocks. Uh, I started out a little bit slow. Uh, it's loud down there. Snaps are, you know, hard to hear, but we started getting control of the line and started punching up the middle on them. Fourth down, uh, I mean, how, how much are you going to look back on that? Uh, you know, we're here and we got here, so you can't take anything back. Silas, uh, I mean, man, you put on the wheels early on, uh, you know, 40-yard touchdown to put you guys on the board. How were you guys feeling after that and take us through that run? Well, it was similar to last week where I saw our O-line was going to get a push in the run game, and they sure as hell did. And we went out there. I just followed a block. There was a wide open hole. All I had to do was run a straight line. No cut. That's what I do, run straight lines. Connor, you know, I mean, the offense was efficient today. It just maybe needed one or two more things to go its way. What are kind of your thoughts on the offense? They, our line did an amazing job today. They're giving us holes for our backs to hit, and <clears throat> I think everyone just did a great job. And it's nothing to hold your head on. On the defensive side, it seemed like in the second half they were able to. I mean, that first drive they're moving the ball, moving the ball. What were they doing? They gave you guys problems defensively. They, they just matched our physicality, and they're a good team up front. They got some big guys up front, and we just had to come up and tackle and do the best we can, and have everyone there, and do the most we could. Knowing the moment, I mean, this hurts, right? Like, nobody sets their goal out of wanting to lose in a state championship game. But also, I mean, there were, there were a lot of teams that would trade places with you guys in a heartbeat. Talk about the accomplishments you guys made this year. It's, it's amazing what we've done. I, freshman year, we started out, I think, we won in six. And then we got junior year. It was the first year we made playoffs since 2016. And that really sparked a lot of people to get back in the playoffs and do it again. And everyone's been hitting that weight room. And we got a, we got a lot of older kids on this team. And they're going to help lead our program next year. And... Just nothing to hold your head on. Silas, I mean, it's been a heck of a run. You know, how, how do you sum it up? Well, starting out like freshman year, like he said, I mean, we had a lot to fix. We had a tradition to get back alive. Old Bedford football, smash mouth football, it took us a couple of years there with us in high school to get that going again. But this year, I think we really did a good job. Made a new tradition, set the bar high. Hopefully the guys coming up in the future can do the job. Tate, what are you going to remember? Uh, you know, it's just fuel. The last past four years have just been fuel to work up to this time. And I think everybody did a heck of a job doing their job. Isaac, uh, you know, a heck of a run. When you reflect, what's going to stand out? Um, you know, I'm just thankful to have this opportunity to play with my brothers. You know, I've been playing with them since fourth grade, and we've always kind of, you know, had that winner's mentality. And, you know, I think just keep pounding with them, and it's just, it was great, great season. Coach, I know this is obviously not the way you want the year, Dan, but I mean, man, it's a heck, it was a heck of a season. You know, what was the message to the guys after the game? You know, I, we just told them, don't hang your head. You know, everyone's proud of you. You know, they kind of like from the beginning of the year, they've just fought. They just fought, and even 
even in that game, we fought till the very end. And they just never quit. I was super proud of them. I told them the world's going to be a better place because we got some good kids coming. When you look back, uh, you know, I know there's, there's one play that we can dive into here in a minute, but is there anything that's going to really stand out to you as the difference today? No, I just, we just didn't execute like we needed to. You know, we missed some, missed some opportunities, uh, some big plays, but, uh, you know, like I said, I, we, even though we missed some big plays, our kids just kept battling, kept battling, kept battling. And, you know, super proud of them. Silas hits a big run early, uh, and you guys go up early. How were you feeling, you know, through the first quarter? So after feeling each other out, well, it was one of those games. I knew, I knew even when we answered, like when we scored, they were going to answer. It was going to be tight the whole way, and you know, it was just a matter of can we take advantage of the opportunities when we have them. You know, we've kind of been able to do that, and today we just we missed some of those opportunities. First drive of the second half, you know, they chew up a ton of time. They go down and they, they get a call to kind of go their way. How big was it? How big momentum swing was that? Oh, I'm, I'm not going to reflect on that. I mean, that's just that's football. Sometimes that happens and breaks don't go your way. And, you know, our kids responded to it and kept fighting. And, you know, we got we got to move past that. We can't dwell on one play that may or may not have been an incompletion. Offensively for them, you know, they were able to get the ground game going in the second half. What were they doing that, that allowed that to happen? I mean, they were just getting a good push up front. I mean, I, you know, I felt like, you know, we talked early in the week and felt like we had to play on their side of the line both both ways. And second half, I felt like we were playing on our side of the ball and we were moving back and their running backs were getting two, three yards before we were getting a hand on them. And that put us in a tough, tough spot. Heck of a year. Uh, I mean, how, how do you sum it up? I, I mean, it's just been a great, great year for these kids. And, uh, you know, those kids were one and six as freshmen. Uh, we've got here, and I couldn't be prouder. I, our community has supported us. It's, we got great fans, you know, and we're just going to, you know, we're going to enjoy it. There's nothing wrong with sometimes you play a game and you get beat. We got beat today, and we're going to keep our heads high and keep moving.